Well everyone, it looks to be that the Samsung Galaxy S21 is going to be coming out potentially sooner than we thought. I mean, I thought it was going to come out like February, March. It's apparently been confirmed that it will be coming out sometime in January, probably January, late January. Right now we have the event happening on January 14th. So that is when the Samsung Galaxy Unpacked event has officially been announced. Now there's probably going to be three different versions of the Samsung Galaxy S21. Now take it as you will, but it's pretty much what we had for the S20. So it's totally, you know, predictable. It's totally what we thought. But there is one specific thing that I'm just so confused about what they're doing. And at first I kind of hated it, but now I actually think it kind of makes sense. And I really hope Apple also does something like this, believe it or not. Now what they're planning on doing, first of all, there were a bunch of leaks that came out. We're already you know, like a week away from the release. So it's probably about to happen. And there were a bunch of accessories that came out and a little, like a bunch of other things like that. And it apparently shows that the cases have a little bit of space left over on the specific device itself. Now you would think that why would, you know, a manufacturer a case manufacturer purposely leave certain amounts of space around the device if they're trying to get a snug fit. Well, this is actually for certain accessories. The Samsung Galaxy S21 series are going to be able to handle a specific type of accessory that we really haven't seen on many other devices. And what this specific accessory is, is a S Pen. Now, believe it or not, I mean, you guys already know, Samsung already makes these type of styluses, you know, for their Samsung Galaxy tabs, but also for their Note series, you know, from since the Note 1 all the way to this device with the Note 20s, like we've always had these S Pens, which I always liked. I think they're awesome. There were a lot of rumors stating that Samsung is going to be removing their Note lineup. And I really hope that's not the case. I always look forward to those type of devices. And I honestly think the phone culture really needs these type of Note devices. I really hope Samsung doesn't go and, you know, change away from the Samsung Galaxy Note lineup because I love that lineup a lot. And I feel like we do need more phones than less phones in this day and age. But with the Galaxy S21, I mean, if it does have a Nest Pen, I think that'd be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. At first, I was hesitant because I was like, oh, I don't want Samsung to remove their Note lineup. But there's still a lot of reasons to pick up a Note phone, preferably a Note 20 Ultra over the S20 or S21 Ultra or whatever the case will be. Now, with this device, a super interesting thing with the S21, there's not going to be like an S Pen insert way that we go, you know, with the Note lineup. We have a little hole that we can go ahead and insert these things in. With the S21, we're not going to have that capability. So that's another pretty big thing in and of itself. And that's something that, again, I'm not really looking forward to. I don't want to carry around a stylus. There's probably going to be some type of magnetic latch on the side of the device. But honestly, I'm not looking forward to that either. If there isn't one, that's going to be insane. That's going to be, I can't wait for the outpour of just the comments and feedback everyone's going to say about that. But if this phone does have some type of magnetic capability on the side, I really hope, you know, the cases that they make and everything look good. I hope they feel good. And I really hope it doesn't make the phone feel too wide. But I guess we'll see what happens. But I feel like Samsung is going to sell the cases separately and they're going to sell the S Pen separately. And I feel like it may not even be a magnetic latch on the side. I feel like for the S22, they may do that. But with this device, I don't know what they're going to do. There's a lot of different chances what they can do. But again, we're pretty much guaranteed three different models. The screen sizes are pretty much going to be the same. The resolution of the panels are going to be 1080p for the bottom two models. As far as I know, we're still maintaining that 120 hertz, which is good. And we're going to be getting plastic backs on the S21 and the S21 Ultra and the S21 Plus. The S21 Ultra is going to be getting that glass back. So at least that's a big asset. But that really pretty much covers it up for the most part. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.